Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about whether had, if you see this word as a verb in a sentence, is it a past perfect tense or is it a simple present tense? I thought of creating this video but then I thought there are other related verb tense confusions that all I would also cover in this video. Let's look at this sentence. Mesopotamian cities had buildings that were arranged haphazardly. So what do you think? This has which tense? Past perfect tense or simple past tense? Now many people look at had and they see yeah, had is used in past perfect. Are you sure? <laughs> no, it's not past perfect. It's simple past here. Now you may be wondering why is it simple past? Why not past perfect? The reason is has can actually act as a normal verb also. Normal verb or let's say a main verb. Okay, this is too dark. Let me try out. Okay. Okay, so for example, I say Raj has a banana. Now in this case, this is a complete sentence, right? What do you think about the tense? It's a simple present tense. Raj has a banana. He has a banana in the present, right? So has is a simple present tense here. So what would be the simple past tense of has? Raj had a banana, right? That would be a simple past tense. Now this is the same thing as we had there, so that is also simple past. Now the reason why a lot of people have confusion with had is, had can be used to form past perfect. Okay, for example, I can say that Raj has eaten a banana. Now in this case, has is not simple present tense since has is followed by this is what I call or not what I call what is called third form of the verb in other words it's a past participle form of the verb when has is followed by past participle form of a verb or third form of a verb in such a case we have present perfect tense okay and let me highlight it for you how can I highlight it let me put it a green here okay so this is called per present perfect tense. On the other hand, now if I have had instead of has had eaten a banana, now this will become a past perfect tense. Okay, so this is something to understand here. When, when you have just let's say had this is just simple past always okay this is always if this is only had but if you have had followed by past participle form I need to figure out a short form <laughs> of a verb. Then we have past perfect and that is also always. Okay, so just by looking at had, you cannot really say whether 
it's simple past or is past perfect you need to look at what comes after had if you have a third form of the verb for example eaten here or let's say had known had developed okay when you have a third form of the verb after had then it's past perfect always and if you have just had okay raj had a banana he had a car he he had a shoe and all that when you have just had without a past participle form of a verb following it that simple past always similarly with has if you just have has or have right these are just singular and plural forms has a singular have is plural this is simple present just if you just have has or have this is again always okay that always is taken for granted here and if you have has or have followed by pp form of a verb past participle form of a verb that's present perfect okay so again just by looking at has or have you cannot really say whether it's simple present or present perfect you need to look at what comes after it if you have a past participle third form of a verb right after it then it's present perfect if you don't have that if you just have an object right right for example raj has a banana or raj has a mercedes and all that then in that case it's simple present tense okay so this is with respect to has and had okay a lot of people are confused in these topics okay now another area similar area in which people are confused is let's say had been okay similar issues with has been also so people look at had been and they see yeah this is what does it mean does it mean continuous tense does it mean passive what does it mean or is it just a linking verb again people have a lot of confusion around had been also first of all let's try to understand how normally we form continuous passive verbs or linking verbs normal continuous forms are formed by putting some form of be right for example is working are working right so there are various forms of be i don't need to el get into those but is was are were right and so on there are many forms now the interesting thing is 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 its third form its past participle form is been okay this is the pp form of be or is and its continuous form is being okay so if you have to form a, a continuous verb of is then it will be is being nice and all that okay so normally continuous verbs are formed by putting some form of is it could be was also was working it could be are working and so on right some form of be with a verb ing okay similarly passive forms so this is continuous form right okay then we have passive how are passive forms formed active passive i'm talking about in in such cases we have some form of be okay some form of be plus 
past participle form of another verb. For example, let's take this. So some form of B will be, let's say, let's take is. Past participle form of work would be worked. Is worked. Is developed. Or it could be, of course, right? You can take, sorry. <laughs> um, so we can have was killed, right? Were beaten, right? So on. We can form passive form, but basically some form of be followed by past participle form of a verb. Okay, a lot of information here. Just hang on. <laughs> okay, then is can also be a linking verb, in which case it is a it is a main verb. For example, just is Ram is nice or right India is a nice and a good country right so here is a standalone it's just acting as a linking verb it's connecting the subject with more information about the subject so it's a linking form here okay so these are the three ways uh, i can think right now which uh, in which forms of b are used they are used in a continuous form Okay, in which we have some form of B followed by a verb ing. Passive form, some form of B followed by a past participle form of a verb. Or they can also act as a linking verb, in which case we just have some form of B. That's the verb. Now let's look at the forms of B or S. Okay, the simple present tense is. is okay again plural form will be are simple past is was were okay now here we get into something interesting present perfect is has plus past participle form of the verb past participle form of is is been third form right as we discussed so has been is the present perfect form of is for past perfect as we discussed it's had plus third form of the verb so it's had been okay we understand so these are present perfect form has been this is past perfect form had been of is okay and we also know that is is used to form continuous verb tenses and passive forms also. Okay, now let's look at the sentences. So let's look at Ram had been nice. Okay, this is a past perfect version of Ram is nice right so this is fine this is in this case had been is the main verb it's a past perfect form of is okay let's say i have a continuous tense ram is being nice okay or let me if you want i can change it is working hard Okay, so this is continuous tense here. Its past perfect would be, so this is present continuous, so its past perfect would be past perfect continuous. So what happens is you just put in the past perfect form of is. So it becomes Ran had been working hard. Okay, so this is 
just pass perfect this is pass perfect continuous and let's say you have a passive form ram was or let's say since we are talking about in the present ram is uh is beaten by abc let's say okay so this is present tense so it's past perfect form would be again you just this is first of all this is passive right because is is followed by third form of a verb okay so it's past perfect again you just put the past perfect form of is so ram had been beaten by abc this is past perfect but passive and let's get into active form because this was just linking verb right let's say ram beat somebody ram beats abc this is simple present so it's past perfect right now we don't have any form of is here because it's neither it's it's not passive it's not continuous and it's not linking verb <laughs> these are the three ways in which we use is so we just have ram beats abc it's past perfect is ram had beaten abc so this is past perfect active form so if you notice here in the active form past perfect we don't have any form of is which is we don't have been here right we don't have been when we have past perfect in a linking verb then we have been ram had been nice and if you have past perfect continuous again you have been ram had been working past perfect passive ram had been beat okay now coming to our discussion that when you look at had been <laughs> is it continuous passive or is it linking verb okay so again you can see here if it's just had been if it is just had been just had been it is past perfect and it's a linking verb it's a form of is right if you have had been plus verb ing form that become past perfect continuous and if you have had been plus past participle third form of a verb then you have past perfect in a passive form and again something we have already discussed if you have just had without been followed by third form as we have discussed here it's past perfect right these are also past perfect but we have various versions of past perfect past perfect as a linking verb past perfect continuous past perfect in passive form right so just by looking at had been you can't really say what exactly the tense or exactly the meaning is you have to read further if it is just had been followed by some noun and or, and or other things then you have just past perfect and it's a form of is it's just a linking verb if you have had been plus verb ing it becomes past perfect continuous 
if you have had been plus past participle form of a verb it becomes past perfect and passive form okay had been beaten so it's a passive construction exactly same rule applies with has been if you just have has been it's present perfect linking verb if you have has been plus verb ing it's present perfect continuous if you have has been plus third form or a past participle form of a verb it's present perfect and passive form okay i hope this video is helpful if you have any doubts regarding thing regarding anything i have covered in this video please feel free to ask good cool. thank you